What's better, the Tesla Cybertruck or Rivian R1T? Well, here's how these two battery-powered beasts compare. If you're shopping for an electric pickup, you've got a few options. There's the more traditional Ford F-150 Lightning and, of course, Chevy's Silverado EV. But if you aren't afraid of buying from a non-traditional automaker, Tesla and Rivian both have very interesting options. So here's how the controversial Cybertruck stacks up against the R1T in performance, capability, charging speed, and, of course, range. Now we'll also see what kind of unique features each truck offers so you can make an informed choice with these pickups. What we won't be getting into is a comprehensive list of problems from these startup manufacturers, particularly Tesla. At the time of recording, Elon is cleaning house, cutting the workforce ranks, and stirring up yet more controversy. Notably for this video, the Cybertruck is currently being recalled for a sticky accelerator pedal and it's faced issues with rusting, tire damaging wheel covers, and more. Oh yeah, and some guy just stuck his finger in the frunk as it was closing to see what would happen. And any number of YouTube videos could have told him that wouldn't end Ooh. well, but here we are. Now of course I encourage you to discuss all of that in the comments below, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to stick to the stats and our own experiences here at EV Pulse. So starting things off, the Cybertruck is available in three flavors, or as I should say, will be available in three flavors. There's the top shelf Cyber Beast model, and then the all wheel drive trim, both of which should arrive to customers this year. Though the third model, the rear drive variant, isn't expected to come out until 2025. Now, of course, this is Tesla. So just assume any delivery estimates are grossly inaccurate probably off by years. Against this angular stainless steel backdrop, let's take a look at the stylish R1T. It is also offered in three models, dual motor all-wheel drive, performance dual motor all-wheel drive, and quad motor all-wheel drive. As you'd imagine, each step up the ladder has more performance than the last. Speaking of that, the top shelf Cyber Beast should have eight 145 horsepower, and the all-wheel drive version, 600. Output figures for the nascent rear drive model have not been released at the time we put this video together, and the same is true of torque estimates. Tesla shared outlandish figures, 7,435 and 10,296 pound-feet, but these are wheel torque figures, not motor torque, so they're pretty useless for comparison purposes. Regardless, the Cybertruck will have loads of twist. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Tesla, Rivian's R1T is plenty potent, too. The quad motor all-wheel drive monster is graced with 835 horsepower and 908 pound-feet of torque. The mid-range offering has 665 ponies and 829 pounds of twist, and the base model still delivers a potent 533 horsepower and 610 pound-feet. As for acceleration, the Tesla can hit 60 miles per hour in as little as 2.6 seconds, practically warp drive, while the Rivian is expected to do the same deed in an equally organ scrambling three seconds flat. Moving on to capability, the Cybertruck can tow up to 11,000 pounds and should have a max payload rating of 2,500. Similarly, the R1T's tip-top towing capacity is 11,000 pounds, though the most this mid-size truck can carry is 1,764 pounds. When it comes to the all-important subject of range, the Cybertruck tops out at 340 miles on a charge. The Cyber Beast will do 320, and the rear-drive base model is expected to offer 250 miles of range. Now, for severe use cases, Tesla is expected to offer an add-on battery pack that will further increase those numbers at the expense of cargo space and expect this truck's main pack to DC fast charge at up to 250 kilowatts and impressive performance. Now, the R1T is offered with three battery sizes, standard, large, and max, meaning you can go anywhere from 270 miles on a charge up to 410. 
Now, the quad motor all-wheel drive model is offered with the large battery, which provides up to 328 miles of range. This Rivian's DC fast charging is impressive too. In our own independent testing, the truck topped out at a very good 213 kilowatts. Next, let's talk about versatility. The Cybertruck's bed is six feet long and four feet wide. There's also a front trunk that reportedly clocks in at around 7.1 cubic feet, half the size of an F-150 Lightning's front. The Rivian's bed is smaller, only about 51 inches wide and 54 inches long, with the tailgate up, of course, but the R1T does offer some interesting storage solutions. For starters, the front trunk is much larger than the Cybertruck's, clocking in at 11.1 .1 cubic feet. But this pickup also has a gear tunnel, which runs the width of the body behind the back seat, and this provides nearly 12 additional cubic feet of lockable weathertight storage space. Speaking of that gear tunnel, let's talk about some of the unique features these electric pickups offer, and there are quite a few. For better or worse, probably worse, the Cybertruck features an unmistakable design and looks like no other vehicle ever built. This Tesla is also rendered in stainless steel, which looks great and should last practically forever, and I do love this aspect of the vehicle. The bodywork also has no paint, so it will never fade, peel, or need to be waxed. Out back, there's a lockable sliding cargo cover to keep your belongings secure. And of course, the Cybertruck offers in-bed power outlets, which are always great to have. Of course, the R1T is not without a raft of unexpected features. I already mentioned the gear tunnel, but there's also an in-bed trunk, just like the Honda Ridgeline. You can also get an onboard air compressor for inflating toys or tires alike. Engineers integrated a clever flashlight into the door panel. And finally, this really isn't an innovative feature, but the R1T has a beautifully designed interior, one that's undeniably high-tech, even if it doesn't try to be as far out there as the Cybertrucks. Speaking of innovations, one of our favorite features of the EV Pulse YouTube channel is our members. And when you become a member, not only do you support independent product reviews, EV how-tos, and original reporting, you also get exclusive benefits. You'll enjoy perks like custom emojis and priority comment replies. Plus, you could be viewing this video right now before everyone else. Learn about our membership tiers and other available goodies by clicking the link above. And of course, if you're already a member, thank you for your support of EV Pulse. And finally, let's talk pricing and then sum up the advantages and disadvantages of these two all-electric trucks. So the base rear-wheel drive Cybertruck should start at around $62,985. That figure includes destination fees, which I believe are $1995, but this is not particularly well documented. Everything is a damn secret with EVs, especially Teslas, it seems, but that's a rant for another day. The all-wheel drive model should start around 82 grand, while the Cyber Beast goes for roughly $102,000. As you might imagine, the Rivian in this video is not cheap either. The base dual-motor all-wheel drive R1T with the standard battery pack starts at around $72,000, including $1,800 for delivery. The range-topping quad-motor all-wheel drive version with the large battery pack, which is actually the middle offering, goes for about 89 grand. It's also important to note, these prices are estimates. Things are constantly changing in the EV world. Additionally, these figures do not include any potential tax credits, so be aware of that. So which all-electric truck is better for you, dear viewer? Well, the top-shelf Cybertruck offers slightly better output and acceleration than a comparable R1T. Then give that truck a ribbon. <laughs> Look at that, just like the county fair. Now, that's according to automaker estimates, but having driven a quad-motor all-wheel drive version of the Rivian, I can tell you it is absolutely no slouch. Tesla does have a higher payload rating, but both trucks can tow up to 11,000 pounds when properly equipped, so that one's a tie. As for range, the Cybertruck slightly trails the R1T, though eventually Tesla should offer an add-on battery pack to help you drive farther between charges, but who knows how much that will cost or when it will be available. 
When juicing up, the Cybertruck's peak DC fast charging rate is a bit quicker than the R1T's, but not by a significant amount. Like towing, I'm going to say versatility here is a tie. The Cybertruck's bed is larger, but the R1T has some exceptionally clever storage solutions, and in my testing, they do work very well. Similarly, both of these battery-powered trucks have plenty of unique features, but I think some of the Rivians are a little bit more useful, like the larger front trunk and that gear tunnel. And finally, of the models that are available today, the Rivian is slightly more affordable than the Cybertruck, but not by a whole lot. Overall, these two pickups are very closely matched. Tesla is a bit larger, but as a mid-size truck, the Rivian is likely a little bit easier to manage. If you want something that looks like an alien mothership, get the Cybertruck, but if you'd rather have a more conventional pickup, consider the R1T, which I have tested and found to be surprisingly great. Anyway, what did we miss? Have you had experience with either of these trucks? Well, tell us your takeaways in the comments of this video. Next, see what ideas other automakers should be stealing from Rivian. Click over here to watch a video where I highlight many of the truck's innovative features. There is much to like about the R1T.